right, let's keep picking our way through this uh, steaming pile of sesame. This is a Model 400. Looks like it's going to be a copy of uh, a laminated lock style. So these are these are sometimes difficult. The Abus makes an excellent one. Full of spools. So this one is looks like only four pins. Not too bad, I guess. Let's do this old school in the hand. I'm not going to waste time even clamping this one up. Um, that fits perfectly. This is a wide tension wrench. And it doesn't matter which one, all of the tension wrenches will work in the bottom of this one because of the way the key uh, warding is. So you can use the small, medium, or wide. So I'm going to try just to, let's tell you what, let's try something different. Let's just zip it and see if that'll see if we can get in that way first, because that'll really tell me. I mean, I, I'm seeing a clue here, and I'll point it out in just a minute that uh, this thing is probably not made in the states. There we go. Um, whenever you see this number here, first of all, we don't use the metric system here in the states, and Sesame's an American company tells me this was made overseas, and I'm going to give you a, a guess where that might be. It's probably, well, we don't need to say, but. Uh, why would anybody copy Master Lock? I have no idea what's going on here with Sesame. These are ball bearing, so you can't shim them, but you can't shim Master Locks either. Anyway, let's keep working our way through this pile. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal. JM, thanks for the locks, man.